the function of prayer is not to influence God, but rather to change the nature of the one who prays. People demand freedom of speech as a compensation for the freedom of thought which they seldom use. People understand me so poorly that they don't even understand my complaint about them not understanding me. There are two ways to be fooled. One is to believe what isn't true, the other is to refuse to believe what is true. It is perfectly true, as philosophers say, that life must be understood backwards. But they forget the other proposition, that it must be lived forwards. The greatest hazard of all, losing one's self, can occur very quietly in the world, as if it were nothing at all. No other loss can occur so quietly, any other loss, an arm, a leg, five dollars, a wife, etc. is sure to be noticed. I see it all perfectly, there are two possible situations, one can either do this or that. My honest opinion and my friendly advice is this, do it or do not do it, you will regret both. The Bible is very easy to understand. But we Christians are a bunch of scheming swindlers. We pretend to be unable to understand it because we know very well that the minute we understand, we are obliged to act accordingly. In addition to my other numerous acquaintances, I have one more intimate confidant. My depression is the most faithful mistress I have known, no wonder, then, that I return the love. A fire broke out backstage in a theater. The clown came out to warn the public. They thought it was a joke and applauded. He repeated it, the acclaim was even greater. I think that's just how the world will come to an end, to general applause from wits who believe it's a joke. If I were to wish for anything, I should not wish for wealth and power, but for the passionate sense of the potential, for the eye which, ever young and ardent, sees the possible. Pleasure disappoints, possibility never. And what wine is so sparkling, what's so fragrant? What's so intoxicating, as possibility?